Hi everyone! Today we're going to be looking at some of my favourite diamond painting tools and accessories with a particular focus on trays and storage. If you don't know what diamond painting entails then you must not have seen my diamond painting for beginners video so I'll leave that link in the description and you can go and see what all the fuss is about and I'll be also leaving links to all the products that I mentioned in this video as well so you can have a look for yourself if it's something you're interested in owning. Before we get into the trays and storage I have to mention one of the most important products that I use every single time I sit down to work on a diamond painting, which is a light pad. This is a thin electric powered board that sits beneath your canvas and has three brightness levels, depending on whether you're working in daylight or in the evening. Now the symbols on a canvas are really small and sometimes hard to decipher. So having illumination underneath really helps you to see them clearly. I like this particular light board because it comes with a stand so you can prop it up at an angle and then drape your canvas over the top rather than hunching over a flat desk. It definitely makes the process a lot more comfortable because you're looking at it kind of straight on in front of you so you get much less pain in your neck and shoulders. Another plus for this light pad is that it comes in different sizes depending on how big your area is. So you could choose an A4 size for a small desk and go right up to A1 if you work on a larger drafting size table, for example. I've got an A3 one here, but to be honest, you don't need a massive one. When you're doing diamond painting, you're only looking at small sections at a time, so even the smallest light pad will help. Okay, let's talk about trays then. Almost every diamond painting you buy will come with its own set of tools, often a pen, wax, and a plain plastic tray. Now there's nothing wrong with these basic sets, but if you want something with a little bit more pizzazz, there are loads of fancy options as well. One of my favourites is this hibiscus tray from the diamond painting brand Oraloa. The large flower on the end is solid plastic and it gives you something secure to hold on to whilst you're pouring drills back into storage or shaking your drills straight. And the groove lines are really nice and prominent so the drills stay in place. It also features a removable cap so that when you're shaking your drills in place, they aren't going to escape from the spout at the end. It feels robust. It's really, really pretty to look at. I think probably the flower could have been positioned a little bit further back to allow more drill space on the tray itself. But apart from that, I think it's probably my favourite drill tray yet. Do you have animals, particularly inquisitive cats, that love to try and join in with your diamond painting sessions? If so, you'll likely have experienced your tray full of drills get tipped over by curious claws at least once. If so, you need a cat proof tray. These are made by a lovely seller on Etsy who created them after getting tired of her cat knocking over copious amounts of drills. All their trays come with these tight fitting rubber lids, which fit perfectly and securely over the tray and will keep everything safe from prying pussycats. These trays come in three different sizes. The fine boy, the largest size at 10 by 15 centimetres. The lean boy at five by eight centimetres. And the new kitten size, which is just three and a half by five centimetres. Each tray features a corner pour system. So once that lid is on, nothing is coming out. There's lots of space for drills and these are very well made. You can get several colours, including rainbow and metallic, and they sell spare lids as well in case you lose it or need a replacement. The only thing about these trays is that they're made in the USA by a small business. So shipping outside of that country can be costly depending on where you live. I'd recommend you buy more than one tray to make the shipping worth it. So drill storage now. Both of my favourite storage solutions are manufactured by ArtDot. One which is compact and easily portable, the other which sits upon your desk and provides storage for tools as well as drills. These storage boxes are sold in sets of two, four and nine, each drawer containing 35 individual drill containers that are reminiscent of Tic Tac boxes. Each one of these boxes has a capacity of 1400 drills, so you can fit quite a surprising amount in them despite looking quite small. The lid can either be totally removed or you can just flip the cap to quickly shake out some drills into your tray. A massive plus for this particular product is their stacking capabilities. You can slide the boxes on top of each other or side by side, depending on your desk setup. And there are holes in the back for wall mounting if you prefer. If you want an all-in-one organiser to keep on your desktop that holds lots of different supplies as well as drills, 
this is a great solution. This version contains 96 individual drill bottles with a secure screw lid and there's a larger set containing 192 bottles. The bottles sit in drawers which makes them easy to access and keep organised and on the top is a removable caddy that can hold drill pens, trays, scissors and plenty more tools. The one criticism I have for this is the bottles move around freely in the drawers which is sometimes irritating because you can't put them back in a dedicated place and keep all the numbers lined up and occasionally they will fall over. This is an improvement that I hope ArtDot will make in the future. However, 96 and 192 containers is some of the largest quantity you'll find in drill storage. So you've got lots of space for those big diamond painting projects that comprise a large number of different colours. I hope you've enjoyed looking at some of my favourite tray and storage products for diamond painting. Here's a bonus mention, my favourite pen. Now I'm not usually fussed about custom pens, the basic ones that you get in kits work well for me, but I did come across this unusual looking pen on Amazon that has some great features. It's metal, so it feels really strong in the hand, and it comes with several different multi-placer attachments, and these screw on rather than push, so they'll stay secure when they're in use. You can see that you can just take one off and screw the other one back on with the metal screw attachment. My favourite one of these is the angled tip, this one here, and this allows you to see more accurately where you're placing each drill. They also give you both a round and a square shaped one bead placer for square drills. If I just show you the difference next to the camera, you can see one is square, one is round, and that's quite unusual to get a square one. My only qualm with this is that the multi-placers themselves are plastic rather than metal, but they seem quite sturdy, so hopefully they'll last a while. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, all the links for these products is going to be in the description and I have managed to secure a few different discount codes for some of the brands that I've shown today. So massive thank you to those who have collaborated to give me a discount code for you all. So if there is something you're looking at, do make sure you use that code, get a little bit of money off. Uh, I believe one of them also has free delivery as well as a percentage off. So Get on down to the description, uh, check out the products that you're interested in and hopefully we can save you a little bit of money. So thank you ever so much for watching and I would love for you to click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you can see more diamond painting videos from me in future. Bye everyone!